we present all my island people say We people celebrating all it from my homeland Like my old man say there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother lyrical Straight from the crew out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have to step up for the past when it's calling Once the world is stop, ain't nobody gonna stop us People, everybody, would you listen to us for a start? No boy complaining and that's we partaking We represent the fun Previously on Dulles, we hung out on the beach with our new friends, had an amazing swim with wild dolphins, and celebrated Yoshirama's birthday. Getting ready, we're about to leave to go over to Home Island, catch the ferry, and then we're going to go over to West Island and meet up with Rick and Joe. And we're gonna stay there tonight. The girls are. I think there'll be some wine involved. It's gonna be weird going over and hanging out on land for a little bit and staying at a house. But um, we've packed our little overnight bags. We all feel really cute. And um, yeah. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Bye boys. Bye. Bye boys. Thank you for dropping us off, Brian. Bye bye. See you, bye. See you later. Have a good ladies' day. We will. <laughs> We're gonna go have a man's day. We're gonna meet Joel, and she's gonna take us on the ferry to the other side. Yep. Move our friend Fiona with us. Hello. <laughs> and Girls' day. Yeah. <laughs> We're really excited being in the air conditioning the ferry. We're like, <laughs> it's very civilized, you know. Look at him, he's ready and raring to go. <laughs> oh, cute, Rick. <laughs> okay, you could not be more ready than that. Hi, Rick. Are you ready for land today? I know the boys on the boat are. I've been stretching. Stretching. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Okay. Have an awesome time. Good to see you, Ron. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so that there is the blackboard, so that's where everything on Crocus happens. Tonight is Thursday, and what does that mean, Hudson? DJ night, and we're going to have special guest DJ Delos <laughs> to help us play some funky tunes. DJ Delos. This is so random, I don't know what we're doing, but let's just roll with it. Oh, yeah, I wonder what the boys are doing. Probably something completely different than what we're up to right now, but that's the beauty of it. Let's go! Since the ladies were doing their own thing, Rick met up with us for a proper boys' day. We set out on a little fishing expedition, and it wasn't long before we had our first hit. Okay, we got some action here. Shark got it. Yeah, the shark's got it, bro. <laughs> We're way too slow on the reel, and the sharks took our catch and bit our line in two. Alright, Rick, what do we got going on here? We're delicately slicing up that market. Yep. Ready to fill the esky. Tasty morsels from the sea. If the shark is going to beat us. <laughs> I think so we're going to cast it over the edge of the reef to the sand patch. Yep. And the trout that live under the ledges will come out and grab it. As soon as they grab it, wind, wind, wind. Because two things, they'll either go back under the ledge and snag you up. Yeah. Or if you're too slow, shark. Shark. Suckers. They're like rabid dogs. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Let's do it. We had a little bit of luck, but there weren't many bites. And when they did, we weren't fast enough to beat the sharks. Yeah, Matt's got a little cod. But now we're gonna go and we've done we've done uh, trolling, we've done bottom fishing, now we're gonna go spewing. See if my luck is any better. I think it will be. The man's thing. The man's thing. <laughs> Wonder what the girls are doing. Yeah. It's good. Hey, hey little one. So Joe's just gone to work 
and uh, we live with the kids. I think five of us should be able to handle two kids. I know. But Jo left her number, so we'll give her a call if shit goes down. Just um, loading up all of our emails. We are making some um, raisin toast with butter. Luxury bread for us cruisers. Yeah. <laughs> right? Jo's just left, she's gone to work for another four hours or so, so we're holding down the fort with the kids and uh, wondering how the boys are doing. Probably down about four beers by now and still caught nothing. Our luck improved big time spear fishing. The only tricky part was these guys, who'd show up as soon as you got a shot off. The idea was to hold the fish out of the water and hightail it back to the boat before they got too close. The black and white tip reef sharks really weren't too much trouble. They're small and kept their distance as long as the fish was out of the water. If you stayed in a spot long enough, these guys would move in from the deeper water, and they're another story entirely. Gray sharks are bigger and have a completely different presence. They slowly circled, closing the gap each time, letting us know who was boss. When the grays showed up, it was time to move on. I was pretty proud of myself for fucking this guy. Kill shot. Right there to the head. I hit him to the death rattle and then slid off his spear. So while the boys continued their boys' day, Rick came back to take care of the kids. Hey Rick! Hello! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> How was your day? Very tell good. Us, tell us about it. We had an epic boys' day. Did you get any fish? We did. You did? Yeah. The Max. one time that we're not there. Max was the only one to catch one. A cod. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh really? But we were spearing. We got a uh, peacock cod, big snapper. Really? Uh, I think we got seven all up. Oh, sweet! Well done. And we saw the biggest barracuda on the Delta. Really? Uh, Who was it? Bigger than all the sharks. So, uh, Brian, tell me what's going on. <laughs> so, we're, we're cleaning fish in the anchorages we're probably not supposed to be doing because it brings in the sharks and a yeah. massive barracuda came in. It's bigger than the sharks. Ready? How do you feel about this? I feel really good about this. This is a great idea. We're gonna fucking do it. We're gonna get the oh, whole shit to me. Alright, let's do it. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ladies radio session. Six CKI, here we are. And... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's do it. And it's ladies' night, and the feelings right, and it's ladies' night. Shit, okay, we're walking on our way to the um, Coco's Club first because we're going to have a few drinks and then we're oh, going to go yeah. to the radio yeah. thing. But um, Karen just wants to say a few words about <laughs> the feelings about this. So, this is like a Secret 
um, fantasy <laughs> of your shirt. And <laughs> I'm just not sure about this. I just don't know if I have them. Oh yeah, it's six o'clock and here is Casa with the latest hits from <laughs> Coco Chili. <laughs> like this is, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> here we are at Coco's Club, so yeah, this is where it's happening on a Wednesday night? Thursday, Thursday night. Oh, look at this guy. So I just got some champagne. Yeah! Yes. 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 Cheers to Joe! G'day, how are you? And we're taking the request out for songs. Oh, perfect, okay. And you want Nelly Furtado, I'm like a bird. You are only going to meet an uh, individual like me once in your life. Okay. And I know, I, I totally agree with that. And hope you have fun. Well, thank you. What's your name, by the way? Big kid. Okay, we're gonna do a shout out to Dick Kid with Nelly Potato on my like bird. Alright. Alright. Cause I'm weary. I'm alone. So let's try this one. Joe, you look like a professional baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have yeah, no yeah. idea what I'm doing. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> In the studio. Maybe it's not the best. Woohoo! I wonder what the boys are doing. Yeah, so we're going to the beach to cook up the fish we just catched and uh, Brian got some firewood. <laughs> What'd you do, bro? <laughs> firewood collection. What else is out? And beer. Wednesday. Wednesday and fire. Yeah. Oh, look at all these men, man. <laughs> oh, oh a bunch of dudes. Of dudes. <laughs> man, night, man, night. Look at them all just standing around with their hands to their hips, staring at the fire. <laughs> Peacock cod. Ooh. Next plate. Oh. Yes! I like. You like? Number one man's day. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're all listening to Six. CKI, voice of the Cocos Keeling Islands. Good evening, I hope everybody's having a great night out there. We're here with uh, <laughs> DJ Delos tonight. Woo! Can we have a big shout out to them? Um, hello everybody. We are the DJ Delos crew. Hey, and I'm here with um, Karen, Frida, Bubs, and Sophie, ah, sorry, Sophie. Fiona. <laughs> and um, we're gonna play some, some awesome tunes for you tonight. And I hope you have a great, great evening. <laughs> Back to you. To start things off, we have a request here from the Cocos Club. Let's play some. We're going to attempt to play some red tide. Let's see. If we can. I like it. You sound so professional when you put cool those on. You're like the head is on. Also, for all the cruisers out there having some sundowners, this is a song that uh, me and my sisters grew up to. Uh, a nice Bob Marley song. Could you be loved? I hope you. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. it! Feels good, I've never been on the radio before. All live and shit. <laughs> so we have ladies night tonight. It's pretty exciting, you know, cruising around Cobas Island during the night. The moon is out, it's a beautiful night, and we have ladies in the studio. So we want to reach out to all the listeners out there because you can actually call us and ask for a track. I'm calling. Mm -hmm. I'm calling. So call 9162 6666. It's 9162 6666. So we are looking forward to some phone calls. Uh, I'm Frida from the Girls Crew. Woo! Yay! That was <laughs> I'd like to put a request in tonight, please. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Rick, and this is a song very dear to his heart. It's Men at Work, Land Down Under, please. Okay, sure thing. <laughs> Look at that. Just past 11 o'clock here at 6 CKI, and I hope you're all doing a wonderful, wonderful time of dancing and enjoying. And Bringing that love and having those good vibes. Wow. 
It's quarter to one. We are just finishing off here. We're getting pretty tired, and Joe has to wake up in four hours. Um, <laughs> some interesting visitors the other night. A couple of the locals came in, requested a few songs and stuff. It's been really, really fun. So, yeah, awesome night, ladies' night. <laughs> We had an absolutely awesome time. Joe and Rook showed us some really, really great hospitality and we just had a blast. And, but um, we're all feeling a little bit hungover today. So we bought some chips from the supermarket and I just kind of just want to go lay in bed and eat. While the girls nursed their ladies' night hangovers, the guys decided to go for a sail. This is my friend Eric from Seattle. We used to race together on a boat named Voodoo Child back in the day. After eight years and tens of thousands of miles of ocean sailing, crossing paths with an old friend really blew my mind. Can you tell us what's going on? So, our friend Eric Roan, or my old friend from Seattle, showed up out of nowhere, recognized his voice on the radio, and he's invited us over for a cruiser party. Cocos is not just a little off the beaten path. It's way off the beaten path, and to run into a friend from Seattle out here cruising his own boat was just too cool. What are you calculating with the odds of um, Bro, I was, us uh, being in Coco's Healing together in the bar after I was trying so to, many years? I was trying to it's, like, it's like winning the lotto three times in a row. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Cheers, Eric. <laughs> Eric had just purchased his new ride in Asia and was delivering her back to New Zealand, so we decided to take her for a little spin. What do you think, Rosie? Oh, man, it's sweet. It's like a big Hobie cat with a wheel. <laughs> what do you think, monohull? First, first, uh... Yeah. It's cool. It's fast. It's like we're doing eight and a half knots and 15 knots of breeze downwind now, which is pretty sweet. The motion's definitely different. You can feel instead of the gentle motion we get on Delos, it's more of a, you get pushed a little bit sideways. That night, Bob's cooking alter ego, Susan, made an appearance. So it's almost four o'clock and it's my cooking day, so I'm gonna make burgers. Uh, but to make bread and to defrost the meat, that takes a few hours, so I'm gonna get some meat, see what we have in here. Yeah, chicken breast. It's a nice big bit of chicken. Cooking for seven people as well, you kind of have to get used to how much you cook. Because this should be enough if we cut the big pieces in half. And maybe I'm going to marinate them. Yum! Uh, so just preparing all the fresh stuff for on top of the burgers. Or inside. Um, so like cucumber cheese and tomato. And uh, after this I'm going to put that in the fridge and then do the bread. And I think everyone's going to like it. Jamie Oliver you're my idol. Okay. Action. So we've got the chicken marinating at the moment in a really nice sauce that I've created just chucked together. So that's marinating now for about 20 minutes. Um, and we're cooking some caramelized onion and garlic. Action! So the my buns are in the oven <laughs> and we've got the chicken all marinated and this oil here is heating up. So we're gonna get started. The comment from the chip. So the chicken is now frying. The only thing is with this kitchen, because it's such a small secluded kind of area, it gets really fucking hot. So I'm actually just gonna put the fan on. Some air flow in here. 
Burgers! So the chicken was frying and I saw that it wasn't really frying that much and then I checked underneath and the gas turned off. And I'm halfway to the chicken so now we need to change the gas. So let's go change the gas. We pretty much have to take out all the shit from this locker because it's all the way in the back so well, I don't know why we keep them all the way in but <laughs> <laughs> we just do because it's a secure place. It's a very and then once you get that out of there, we have to come back here. And then this is where the new gas has to go in, which we have to take all the shit out of the dive locker too. No whining. A chicken sandwich. <laughs> so back cooking chickens. Woo. So the buns are cut up. Hey, crazy ladies, they're gonna eat. Yeah. There's um, the buns are small and the chicken's massive. <laughs> I think that one needs to chuck the party. <laughs> Look at that goodness. Uh, A bunch of hungry sailors. <laughs> uh, oh man. Reminds me of Chick Fil A. Oh whoa. Okay, tell me how good the meal was. Tell me again because it was a lot of noise. <laughs> it was delicious. It was a great chicken meal. It's really full. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm chocolate blocker. Up next, we get Dallas ready for our 1,500 mile sail to Chagos. And then the Braidster somehow gets his hand caught in the business end of Barry the Barracuda. DJ Delos. Mate, it's fucking hot in here. <laughs> so you don't know who Trudy Trauma is? You can stop that one. <laughs>